Solid 30 so far. Ah, oh, maybe I'll have to stop commenting on it. Just stop giving me filler content, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Oh, it just dropped down to 29. Holy shit. Panic. Stage 1. DEFCON 1. Approach the chamber and press B to enter. Wait, I thought we were looking for slave gear on top of the cathedral. What? What is this? I'm being lied to by that paper. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be a cutscene. Hamlin is best suited for combat one than the assassin persona and can use the chain kill ability. Oh, nice. Assassin persona is always notorious. The guards are oh, quick to notice her. Okay. Though the assassin notorious. Corrupting magistrates? Oh. It changes every game, isn't it? The assassin persona can climb freely. What? Nothing else can. The slave persona is weak in combat and has limited access to weapons and tools. The slave persona can blend in with crowds, workers, groups, and by carrying crates. To reduce the slave persona notoriety, tear down wanted posters using any persona. The slave persona can free run. So climb freely and free run? What's the difference? And then there's the lady persona. It's weak in combat and has limited access to weapons and tools. Wait, this one was weak? Yeah. Okay. The lady persona can charm and bribe guards. The lady persona gains notoriety slower than the other personas. Okay, so we're going with slave one. I guess we'll probably get tutorials on all of these eventually. We have to become a slave. I don't know why we don't just walk in and murder everyone. Um, all right then. A delivery will arrive at the plantation. A perfect cover. Hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen. Okie doke. It'll be harder for guards to spot you. Well, yeah. Well, I am a slave sort of running around. I can free run at least, which is good. City gates, on our way. There's lots and lots and lots of treasure chests, it seems. I like the colour in the main menu. It makes a difference from... Wow, why is that... Okay, there are a lot, a lot of chests, but I guess this is probably the whole map. Because I'm not expecting a greatly long game here, but... You'll never guess this, guys. In Assassin's Creed 3... It's the right stick to move the thing around. Like, you use the right stick to m do this. And the left stick, like, handles the menus. And then you use RT and LT to zoom in. This, RT and LT zoom in. Yeah, zoom in and out. And then down on the left, on the right stick, zooms out. Up on the right stick, zooms in. Left manipulates the thing like this. And then you can also do, like, this really slow. That is weird. That is so weird. Right and left do like really slow out, but not in. Okay. Okay. Well, glad to know. Glad to know that that is so greatly put it over. Maybe I should try the fucking PC controls. What's the currency in, by the way? It's, um, what is that called in math? Like the E on the calculator. It's not really, though, because it's got an accent. I just... I just remember it from uh, my torturous days in in math class in uh, sixth form, which I got kicked out of for failing, by the way, in case you were interested. Is that an almanac page? Oh, no, it's a wanted poster. Nice. Good to know for future reference. There's a dog there. Can we pet the dog is the question. Nope. Bench. Where's the bench? There's the bench. It wouldn't have told us if there wasn't a bench nearby. Well, at least it's a good change to see a female protagonist in an Assassin's Creed game. Not like any of these guards care that there's a slave running around. Like, usually they'd be like, wait, why are you running? Slaves don't usually run like that. They're not typically this excited about their lives. You'd be like, oh, you know, I just won the lottery. I can get out of slavery. And you'd be like, oh, shit, son. That's not good. Okay, a bubble. A bubble is the objective marker. How quaint. They are delivering... Hey, apparently. Hide in the wagon. Uh, apparently we're going to a plantation, so this isn't the whole map. Well, that's nice. Oh, come on, get in there. Just jump straight into the back of it. Smash your face on the wood. Take a crate and pass the guards. Well, blimey. I probably could have just climbed up the building and stealthed the round. Slave slower, slower while carrying a crate, so they won't detect me if I'm carrying a crate now? No? Okay. Thank you. Those guys are doing it slowly though, as it said. No surprise there. 
Right, so I didn't really want to bring it up, but the frame rate dropped to about 24 um, when we got to the outside of the gate, so I mean, if there's going to be points where it's going to drop, I'd like to know about them so I can avoid them, and uh, the gate seemed like one. This place so far seems solid, which is nice. Please, sir, do not notice me. I see the triangle isn't filling up, or maybe it is at an incredibly slow rate, which is good. Yeah, it is actually filling up at a greatly slow rate. I don't really want to jog because, I mean, it might it might do me no good. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? We have plenty of trouble here already. Don't need no more. I'm Aveline, a friend. Slaves have been reported escaped, but none has yet reached any safe house. My contacts fear the worst. If you're a spy, Aveline. You won't find no cause for persecution here. My brothers have vanished, then my aunt. Today, my youngest sister, Therese. They ain't escaped, as you say. They are taken. Besides, Therese would never survive on her own. I'll find her. If any have trodden through these fields, they must have left tracks. It's strange. I can only think about. Jamaica, as opposed to, Fr but our main character is apparently French, and then I don't know if I say African, it might be wrong, and it would just be like stereotypical man, which I mean that accent was. Look at that finely paven gla grass, even perfect square. That you never see that in real life. For a start, all the corners would be muddy instead of grassy because people cut corners. Right, we have to climb. And I hope nobody is watching. Oh, this shit. This guy over here might be watching. Or he might turn this way, I mean. Yeah, he did. I doubt he'll be a problem. It could be like Nigeria and French or something. Oh, shit. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. He doesn't mind. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. This guy is being a pain in my ass. I wish I had weapons. How can he see me? Nothing suspicious about that, sir? No? A slave jumping in the hay after trying to climb a building. This is a nice mansion. Well, it's not. The wood's a bit off, but... I mean, I'd take what I was given, really. If I was given a mansion like this, I wouldn't complain. So what is the nationality of our protagonist here? Is it French Nigerian? Is it French African? Is it some other country? I have no idea. Synchronize if you find the missing slave. Missing slaves. Can never be a good... Why is this thing on the top of the mountain? Any Mountain? Mansion? Why is there just a fucking thing? Investigate the barn? That's a barn? It's not a very big barn. Usually barns are distinct because they're very, very large. No one sees a slave jumping across the mansion, really. One thing I never understood about Assassin's Creed games, look at that. Who, like, oh, slaves jumping across the buildings. Never mind. Like, nobody ever looks up, do they? Nobody. Which is, uh, well, I mean, a bit odd. Oh, 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 I said odd very strangely there. That was odd in itself. I mean, it's happening throughout the entire course of history. Don't feel nobody learned how to look up yet. I'm a friend. Who did this? Your master? No. This son. Oh, please help. Be strong. I'll get you to safety. You'll pay for this. Wow. Guards, hurry! We've got rats in the barn. I mean, I would... <laughs> that... That's something I expect to see in like a, um... In a really old, like, 90s game, maybe. Just like we're having a conversation, all of a sudden the enemy is there. Like, ah, I found you. So no cutscene of him walking in, or any sound effects, or anything. This nightmare, I can't take no more. His terror is over, Therese. Stay with me. We must hurry. Do you mean nightmare? I mean, I we're saving you from the slave life. I'm a liberator, hence the name of the game. It's not a nightmare. It's come live in the DR Congo. Aveline, my daughter, wandering alone at dawn. Where have you been? 
After the nightmare, I want to take air. Dear stepmother, I'm grown now. You needn't worry for my safety. You underestimate the dangers of the world. If not your safety, then do your reputation. Why must you be so headstrong? I wish you would... In truth, Madeleine, I'm in need of your assistance. I'm afraid it's urgent. Uh, what now? While walking, I was startled by cries of distress. Following them, I discovered a woman. A slave. Badly wounded. Where is she? I will send help. She awaits in a wagon outside in the street. Evelyn! Don't be cross. I knew you'd know the thing to do. I couldn't risk leaving her to perish, or worse. Or worse! You have already sentenced her to persecution by your very impulsiveness. <sighs> very well. I will not turn my back now, not that you have left me much choice. <sighs> I will see that she is treated in utmost discretion. <sighs> Thank you, Madeleine. In the meantime, hurry to town and fetch her new traveling clothes. Go quickly. We have no time to lose. What the fuck is going on? How did we get here? I mean, I have a feeling this game's story is just going to be bonkers. It's going to be one of those uh, 400 days dealies, isn't it?